I was fortunate enough to be assigned to a federal task force where the sole purpose was to protect children on the internet and investigate crimes against children on the internet and did that for several years and had a rude awakening of what really happens online. You saw firsthand how quickly it got out of control. I spent a lot of my time, it was undercovering what they call luring and, and um, luring of the children. So I spent about eight years solid uh, online as a 13 year old girl just trying to get out there and protect our children and protect our youth and seeing what was happening and I jumped into that. I, I went back to middle school uh, where I was a police officer and I was a youth officer. I went back to middle school classes so I knew what the kids were doing because I was being asked. The people that were grooming me weren't just saying how you doing today. They wanted to make sure you were a child. They wanted to get into your world. They wanted to become your friend so I had to become that child. Each case was different. Uh, sometimes people just wanted to communicate and there was different laws that would apply to that. Some of them would want to travel and uh, entice and, and luring as the charges we used. They would do that and they would travel the country to come meet us. So it all depends. It was a case by case basis depending on what they would do, where the, how far they wanted to go, what their involvement was and what their intentions were. My first, one of my first investigations, that gentleman wanted to take me away from my family. Maybe not to traffic me, but he wanted to take me away from my family and do things down in his southern state and keep me there as his. Well, I think first and foremost, our, our parents need to know what apps and programs our children are on. And it's, there's a lot of different ways we can do that. Communication with our kids is key. Talking to our children. A lot of the apps that our children are on have minimum ages. And a lot of families just go, eh, nobody cares about that. Go ahead and sign up for it. Well, the age is there for a reason, so we should obey the rules. We should listen to the rules, but we need to get involved. And unfortunately, a lot of times parents tell me they're intimidated by the, the technology, which I understand. But that means we've got to get involved. We don't let our children drive a car until they reach the age, they go to driving school, and we sit down next to them with our life in our own hands to make sure that they're safe, yet we'll hand them a device where they can communicate with billions of strangers and not do anything about it. So we need to take a different approach just to make sure we're aware of it. So knowing what apps and programs are out there, setting some guidelines, but also sit down with your child and go through their followers. Who are you communicating with? Understand that someone who's trying to entice our children might not come right out and say, hey, I want to be your sugar daddy. There might be emojis or acronyms and things that they say in a text message that a child will decipher and you might just look at it as a typo. Parents need to be involved and if they're not sure what's going on, research and learn about it. We can learn about the technology from our children. They know how it works. While we're learning, we should be instilling our safety concerns about what is a stranger, why are they online, and why should we not be talking to them. Stranger danger is something we teach our kids when they're babies in our arms. And if a person in a white van trying to give our kids free candy drives down one neighborhood, everybody's going to call the cops. 